since I started this uh, YouTube channel, there's been a single constant struggle. Um, and it comes down how to film things. Um, my first setup was essentially a boom arm or a tripod over my kitchen table, and that was very unstable. And while I have improved things, you know, it could be better. But pretty early on, I built myself a new overhead stand. It's the same one I'm using right now. Um, it holds a lot of lights and microphone and sometimes the camera too. But honestly, it needs an upgrade. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, we're going to tear down this place. Well, this desk, for instance. And we're going to build a new frame and it's going to be awesome. So first we need to do some cleanup. But while I'm doing that, let me explain my problem. The main problem is that my tools are spread all over the place and that my actual work area, even though the desk is very large, it's no more than an A3 piece of paper. So we need to fix that. So the first thing I did was I got a new solid table to work with instead of a kitchen table. I've been actually been using it for the last six months, but yeah, still have no space. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a superstructure with pegboards in the back and enough places to attach lights, cameras, and all that kind of stuff. And it's gonna take the entire desk and not just the little patch in the front. Later I'm going to mount a top-down camera. I also have a microscope camera, but currently I can only record one channel extra. So that's going to be improved later on, but for now a top-down camera, so I can have two views at least. It's going to be nice. To make things easier for myself, I'm going to split things up into tools and other things as well as a BBS or a big box of screws. The overhead rig is also going to be reused, but that is another video. It's going to be really neat. Now we're getting into building. The assembly is pretty straightforward. I have already pre-drilled and tapped the holes, but the hard part is to keep the order operations in mind, since it's hard to add additional nuts in the extrusions. T-nuts won't work in, on these reels because I ordered the wrong kind, so I have to think ahead and add some extra nuts in some places instead. After some assembly, I put the entire thing on the desk and screw it down using wood screws. Now it's only a matter of attaching all the lights, microphones, and get back to recording videos. So this is the new setup. There's plenty of light and space now, as well as a new fixed overhead camera. 
there is still plenty to do. I still haven't put up any tools yet and I'm not sure how to attach more monitors. While I have a small one so I can see where things are on screen, it would be nice to have more. But until then, please like, subscribe and have a nice day.